本日は Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending this joint press conference despite your busy schedules and such short notice. We would now like to get started with the joint press conference of Toyota Motor Corporation and Panasonic Corporation. Allow me to introduce the attendants from Toyota Motor Corporation, President Akio Toyoda, from Panasonic Corporation, President Kazuhiro Tsuga, now, both presidents would deliver their opening remarks. Mr. Toyoda, please. Hello, everybody. I am Akio Toyoda. I sincerely thank you all for attending this joint press conference despite your busy schedules and such short notice. Today, Toyota Motor Corporation and Panasonic Corporation have concluded an agreement to study the feasibility of collaboration on automotive prismatic batteries. To solve issues currently confronting us worldwide, such as global warming, air pollution, the depletion of natural resources and energy security, it will be necessary to further the popularization of electrified vehicles. In accomplishing such, when it comes to automotive batteries, which represent a key component of electrified vehicles, it can be said that further evolution in terms of performance performance, price, and safety, and the securing of stable supply capacity are pressing issues. Recognizing this, both companies intend to broadly study concrete areas of collaboration for automotive, prismatic, lithium-ion batteries to next-generation batteries such as solid stage, including procurement of the resources for such, all the way to reuse and recycling. Now, I would like to talk a little about my thoughts behind the agreement being announced today. Toyota has long been involved in battery development going all the way back to 1925. Sakichi Toyoda, founder of the Toyota Group, offered a prize of 1 million yen to encourage the development of storage battery. To give you an idea of the enormity of that amount of money at that time, the capital funds of Toyota Automatic Loomworks, now Toyota Industries Corporation, which was established the following year in 1926, was also 1 million yen. The ambition storage battery was one that would have an output of 100 horsepower and could operate for 36 hours while being no heavier than 225 kilograms, no larger than 280 liters in volume and having potential for industrial production. Known as the Sakichi battery, to this state, there has yet to be a battery developed capable of such performance. Perhaps Sakichi had already foreseen the arrival of the age of electrification that we are seeing today. More than 90 years later in 2013, I had the occasion to welcome a particular individual to Sakichi Toyota Memorial House in Shizuoka Prefecture's Kosai City. The person was Mr. Tsuga, who is here next to me. A year after Mr. Tsuga became president, he visited the Sakichi Toyota Memorial House, which can be said to be the origin of Toyota. As I showed him around while talking about various things, the expressions on his face, his body language, and all the things he said made me keenly aware of his feelings towards the founding of a business and for the country, as well as his resolution as a person who has inherited a company. Four years has passed since then, and today, in front of all of you, we have come to be able to announce our company's agreement under the theme of developing automotive prismatic batteries. I personally couldn't help but think that since our first meeting at the Sakichi Toyota Memorial House, there would come a day when we would be here together like this. The automotive industry is now facing an era of profound transformation the likes of which come only once every 100 years. No longer can we expect the future by adhering to our current path. We realize that we are now in an era in which we must create the future using our wisdom and technology. 
What is necessary to create the future is the venture company spirit of wanting to make the world a better place and the spirit of getting better and better, the ever-present understanding that there is always a better way and better technology. Panasonic has accumulated its industry-leading capability to develop automotive batteries over many years and Toyota has accumulated vehicle uh, electrification technologies through the development of hybrid vehicles. Toyota also loves cars and is determined to never let them become commodities. Furthermore, both companies have a venture company spirit inherited from great inventors and entrepreneurs such as Konosuke Matsushita, Sakichi Toyota, and Kiichiro Toyota who devoted their lives to the development of of Japan. Today, what I want to communicate to everyone is that our agreement is one that is meant to achieve a more prosperous and more enjoyable society of mobility and one that gives form to the desire that both companies, born and raised in Japan, would lead in the era of vehicle electrification. I humbly request everybody's warm support. Thank you very much. Hello. Mr. Tsuga, please. Good afternoon. My name is Tsuga from Panasonic Corporation. Despite the fact that the, it was a last minute invitation, thank you very much for coming today, everybody. I will uh, talk about my thoughts about the battery business and what I think about this collaboration. Our founder, Konosuke Matsushita, had the uh, philosophy of devotion to the progress of society and the well-being of the people worldwide through our business activities. And with that uh, corporate philosophy, the company uh, developed. We uh, took over that philosophy, and now we have the slogan of a better life, a better world. In addition to consumer electronics, housing, automotive, and solutions and other B2B business areas, we are trying to um, achieve better lives and a better world for each and every one of our customers. In the automotive industry, uh, with the electrification of vehicles, we are seeing a dramatic change in the environment surrounding the industry. The industry itself is about to change drastically. In addition to that, we are seeing various initiative world, initiatives worldwide. A better life, life a better world is our a slogan, but uh, we need to uh, create a, a society um, in which a better life is uh, achieved through our activities. And that is the uh, change that we are seeing in the automotive industry. Uh, towards an evolution towards a sustainable society and the widespread use of electrified vehicles, uh, batteries are the key device. And for us, it is a very important business. Under this uh, background, we will continue to work with vehicle manufacturers, uh, and we are uh, taking various actions from development to production. And Toyota, this time, uh, called upon us. And we very much sympathized with and agreed with their high ambitions and we decided to explore the possibility of a collaboration together. We want to meet the expectations of Toyota, and we, uh, we, the, the two companies intend to move ahead with a speed to create an effective framework. And next year, Panasonic will celebrating its 100th anniversary. As you can see in the changes in the automotive industry with the electrification of uh, vehicles, the next 100 years will be a 
century of rapid change, even more so than the past 100 years. So in this situation, we cannot survive if we just continue to maintain the status quo. We will continue to have a challenger's mindset, capitalizing upon our strength, and we wish to contribute to the widespread use of electrified vehicles. Please place expectations on us, and thank you very much for your attention. Now we would like to open the floor for questions. Uh, we are scheduled to have the Q&A session for about 30 minutes. Both presidents don't have time to answer your questions after this meeting, so please make sure to ask your question here in this meeting. If you have any question, we would bring you a microphone, so please raise your hand and let us know. And please introduce yourself, your name and affiliation. And please clarify to whom you are asking your question. Any questions, please? Kagawa from Yomiuri newspaper. Uh, to both presidents, Mr. Toyoda and Mr. Tsuga, for the past 20 years, you have been working uh, through the establishment of joint ventures such as PEVE, Prime Earth EV Energy, in the area of battery. So, so far, what is your impression and evaluation of your partner? And at this juncture, why did you need to further deepen your relationship through collaboration? And so you are announcing that you are going to study the feasibility of collaboration. But together with Denso, Toyota has established uh, this joint venture company and to ha already have an alliance. And uh, so would there be a possibility in the future for other companies to join this alliance? Thank you very much. So allow me to answer your question first of all. Yes, indeed, for the past 20 years, uh, we have been working with Toyota through Prime Earth EV Energy. And as uh, the external auditor, I have been involved in the operation of Prime Earth EV Energy. We have been very serious and uh, to contribute to the society. Being serious and the contribution spirit, I believe, is uh, the major feature of our partner, Toyota. And looking at how Toyota is willing to make investment uh, in terms of capex for the production of batteries, uh, they were very serious, and we had to learn a lesson. In Tohoku region, uh, suppliers for automobiles were not necessarily fully improved, and Toyota decided uh, to open a new plant in the Tohoku region, and at that time, uh, we were working together and made decisions together. And so Toyota is very sincere and serious, and we have many things that we can learn from them. So why now? What's the reason for this possible collaboration? Uh, in terms of automotive batteries, we have this cylinder-shaped battery that we have accumulated our know-how. But what would be the new areas to challenge? It would be the prismatic battery that would be the focus of our collaboration. We need to maintain the challenging spirit. And uh, for this collaboration, Toyota had made a first step and approached us about uh, to challenge this new prismatic battery. We decided to work together. Now let me answer your question. Well, actually, with Panasonic, we have this history of 65 years. It was in 1953 that we first worked together for the radio, well, actually, noise prevention of radio technology. And then, for 20 years, we have been working together through this uh, joint venture company, Prime Earth EV Energy. I've always been telling my people <coughs> to always make better cars. So electrification is one of the major transformation that only comes once in 100 years. 
having to make even ever better cars and collaborating with a battery manufacturer like Panasonic, uh, we should continue our efforts to come up with ever better cars uh, to have uh, this conversion of uh, this uh, uh, automobile manufacturer and the batter battery manufacturer. And uh, we have accumulated our know-how for electrified vehicles and hybrid vehicles and FCVs, whereas Panasonic is a leading company in the area of automotive batteries. And both companies, since the founding of the company, uh, have strong enthusiasm for manufacturing. And I think it was a fate for us to come together to work for this collaboration. Now, what about other companies participating in the alliance? Of course, we're not to work behind closed doors, and we would like to uh, offer opportunities, if any, to work together with other companies. And with the collaboration for the realization of this automotive prismatic batteries going forward, we would like to work hard. My name is Kishimoto from Chunichi uh, newspaper. I have a, a question about the development uh, framework. Uh, uh, this is a question mainly goes to Mr. Toyoda. Uh, lithium ion batteries and full solid state uh, um, batteries. Uh, Mr. Toyoda mentioned that these will be a part of the scope. But you mentioned that you will be aiming at industry-leading prismatic battery for automotive. Um, Toyota already mentioned that you are aiming at commercializing uh, full solid state batteries in the early 2020s. So you already uh, mentioned that. So what you have internally been doing will be a part of this uh, collaboration. Is that uh, what you are thinking of? So will that be a departure from your conventional thinking? Uh, electrification of vehicles is what we are facing in the automotive industry. And the key would be batteries. Uh, Japan does not have any resources. And in order to survive in the era of a major change. We need to uh, develop competitive batteries so that we can provide stable supply of um, batteries. With regards to battery development and supply, there are many challenges. Existing battery companies, uh, automotive companies cannot solve uh, all the problems um, themselves. The major scope of this collaboration will be high capacity automotive um, prismatic batteries, a solid state battery, uh, uh, including these, the next generation batteries will be the target. For automotive prismatic battery, we can capitalize upon the strength of both companies. And both companies have accumulated technology and market data, and we can utilize these to become better than what we have now. We can produce, we can uh, challenge, uh, take up the challenge of uh, making better uh, batteries. For our next generation of batteries, we will continue to study the possibility. Imamura from Nikkan Kogyo newspaper. A question to Mr. Toyoda. Uh, centering on European auto manufacturers, EV and electrified vehicles are being promoted, and they have this mid to long term business plan for electrified vehicles. So, what is your image of these um, electrified vehicles over the medium to long term? To be specific, if you, uh, you have a specific model in mind, uh, please share that with us. 
Well, the automotive industry is encountered with global warming, depleting natural resources and energy issues, and including the European manufacturers, all the auto manufacturers are working hard to address these issues. I think there are two important rules that we need to abide by. Uh, one is zero emission vehicle regulation, and the other would be the fuel economy regulation. So these are the two different sets of regulations that the auto industry would have to comply with. With regards to the zero emission vehicle regulation, together with EV and FCV, we will address the requirement for the fuel economy regulation, hybrid vehicle and plug-in hybrid vehicle, PHV would be the models that we would comply with. And recently, the zero emission vehicle is highlighted. However, in terms of the number of units uh, addressing the fuel economy regulation, the number of cars that comply with this fuel economy regulation is overwhelming. And Toyota have long been working on HV and EV, FCV, HV, PHV. These are all electrified vehicles. So we take pride in the fact that we have this full lineup of electrified vehicles. So Toyota is in a, a competitive advantage position in terms of hybrid technology. Around 2030, out of the total sales of our vehicle, approximately 50% would be sales coming from electrified vehicles. Electrified vehicles means EV, FCV, HV, and PHV, everything included. Then in terms of breakdown, electric vehicle and fuel cell vehicle in total 1 million, hybrid vehicle, plug-in hybrid vehicle about 4.5 million, so in total about 5.5 million vehicles uh, that are electrified. So Toyota takes pride in the fact that Toyota has a full lineup of electrified vehicles. And in order to uh, support uh, these electrified vehicles, uh, it is essential that stable supply and improved performance of the automotive battery would be realized. And unless we have this mechanism, which is comprehensive to allow reuse and recycle of batteries, I don't think our electrified vehicle scenario would be perfect. So we would like to collaborate fully with Panasonic to this end. May I ask another question? Uh, this question goes to both Mr. Toyota and Mr. Tsuga, uh, probably. The first uh, question was um, referred to the prime earth EV energy. In, will the positioning of this company change with this collaboration agreement, uh, or will both conti companies continue to uh, focus on PV? Uh, there are many possibilities. So including all those possibilities, we will start exploring the possibilities. So at this point, um, no assumptions are being made. A better, more friendlier to the earth, more sustainable companies are what we are aiming at. And as such, we will start studying the possibility of collaboration. So if you can be patient and wait a while. Mr. Tsuga, do you have anything else to say? Now this time, uh, we are focusing on the prismatic battery. And uh, this is an area in which we have collaborated with the Toyota for a very long time. So we will look at the overall picture to try to identify what is best. So we are not excluding anything. But when it comes to PEVE, uh, our uh, equity ratio has come down significantly. So I believe this is something that the Toyota side will decide.
Thank you. My name is Shinryo from Magazine X. Two questions. Recently, Mr. Toyoda has attended a press conference announcing a marriage, if you will, with the assembly manufacturer, but with this leading battery manufacturer, horizontal collaboration, if you will, is what you are announcing. And of course, both companies have a, a group of suppliers. So is this collaboration including your family of suppliers? The suppliers that back you up, are they going to collaborate as well? So how's the relationship going to change? And uh, the second question has to do with Toyota Way. So a question to Mr. Toyota. And uh, so recently, you had this event to allow us to learn the history of uh, 20 years of Prius. And battery, initially, you said well, at least your engineer said that batteries do not necessarily need to be developed internally. And Mr. Yaihashi talked about Toyota Way not necessarily meaning developing everything on its own, rather to develop world number one. So this collaboration that you are announcing, is this on the line of extension from the Toyota Way or for the electrification of vehicles going forward? Are you trying to prioritize the strengthening of relationship with specific companies like Panasonic? So far, uh, we had alliance arrangements with various car manufacturers. And this time, we are considering collaboration with Panasonic. But the basic spirit and principle is to come up with even better cars. So going forward, 100 years from now, cars should be at the center of mobility. It should never become commoditized. And in the Japanese language, cars should have the prefix I, meaning love. And uh, considering the electrification of vehicles, the key would be batteries. And for coming up with every other, uh, even better cars, we need to develop together and even better batteries. And so uh, we are announcing that we have signed this MOU to study the feasibility of collaboration. Now, electrified vehicles need to be adopted by the society, and there needs to be further penetration. Otherwise, it cannot be contribute. It cannot contribute to the global environment. And uh, the uh, partners uh, that we have been collaborating up to now uh, should be engaged in our undertaking so that it would for sure contribute to the manufacturing of ever better cars. Now, I think the gist of your question has to do with the principle of Toyota to try to develop internally as much as possible. But the automotive industry is encountered with a major transformation, a kind that would only take place once in 100 years. And so we have to navigate uncharted waters. And we have to keep navigating without one single right solution. In a situation like that, speed is critical. And if speed is critical, developing everything on its own or technology, uh, a very specialized technology to be utilized uh, to prevent vehicles not to be commoditized is not necessarily the only way going forward. So we are not obsessed with internal development for everything because we need speed.
すいません、ジャーナリスト、モモタと申します。My name is Momoto, a journalist, and the questions for both the presidents. Mr. Toyoda, you always use the word Aisha, which is a love of cars, when you talk about prevent, not being commoditized. But when there is a high likelihood of cars being commoditized, how would you describe the um, identity of EVs uh, not using the word Aisha? To Mr. Atsuka, Atsuka, about Tessa, uh, you have um, 18650-cylinder-shaped uh, um, uh, battery, and also I think uh, um, there's also Model 3. But so is this alliance totally different uh, from the uh, your Tesla business? So as I mentioned in the beginning, um, we have to make the uh, number one uh, battery in order to survive. Um, uh, we will study the possibility of collaboration with the Toyota, but um, the definition of number one will change with the passage of time. And according to my understanding, if you just look at um, um, a battery set, 18650 and 2170, these um, cylinder-shaped batteries would be the number one batteries for EVs. That is the current status. So these batteries are being used by Tesla now. But if you look at the future, where do we see growth? Or uh, which um, existing car manufacturer will play a major role in electrification, and what type of battery will they uh, require? That maybe that will be a different uh, story. Uh, so for uh, prismatic batteries. High capacity and safe batteries are required, and also the shape will have to be conducive to a design of vehicles, and that would be a challenge. Uh, we cannot do this alone. So we are very grateful that the Toyota called upon us this time, and we are willing to work with them. So uh, that is why we mentioned prismatic batteries in this announcement. I wasn't sure about the question. <laughs> um, the microphone is not on, so we cannot hear the uh, person who is asking the question. Now, uh, talking about EVs, um, there are companies like um, Tesla, and that's how uh, that's their identity. In the past, uh, when it comes to EVs, the range or the uh, charge times are issues. That's what was said in the past. But what Tesla showed to the world was that the acceleration, the good acceleration of uh, EVs, uh, I think it was shown with the initial roadster. So he, they showed that there is a brand value in electric vehicles. And if there is a brand equity or brand value, um, customers were willing to call it Aisha or the vehicle that they love. A brand value tended to go down when it came to EV. In our the 86 electrical vehicle, 86 electric vehicle ver version, I drove that car and I was asked about the impression. I said, this is an electric vehicle. But if customers say this is a Hachiroku instead of an EV, uh, that would be the a better answer. So we will make efforts toward that end. So creating cars that were called Aisha or cars that they love by customers is something that we will continue to work on. So I hope you will continue to support us.
Currently, Panasonic supplies batteries to Tesla, and I think the production capacity would have to be expanded quite dramatically. Including the overseas market, would there be a possibility of constructing jointly a battery plant, or just like what uh, you're doing with Tesla, uh, is there going to be uh, capex uh, going to be planned for new investment? Well, Inclusive of that aspect, we are going to from now on study the details. Well, in 2030, or until 2030, Toyota would like to, out of the overall sales, electrified vehicles, meaning EV, FCB, HV, and PHV, be 50 percent, 50 percent of the total sales of Toyota vehicles. So with that in mind, both companies would study the details of how we can collaborate. And you don't think that battery supply is becoming a bottleneck? Well, currently, hybrid and plug-in hybrid, well, this year it's 1.47 million. And plug-in hybrid is about 50,000 units. So we're trying to increase this number of units to 4.5 million by 2030. And uh, the people in the company may say, I am talking about a very wild dream. But we are really going to make a major change in how we navigate our business, and that is because the speed of uh, the business is getting faster. And I think there are two important things that determine uh, EV. One is the speed of regulation, and the other is the speed of battery development. That would determine the speed of battery development. So uh, right now, the speed of development of batteries are not up to the speed of regulation. I think that is the reality right now. The batteries currently are very expensive and heavy, and the mobility to carry those batteries are EVs. That is the current situation. And in order to change the situation by 2030, we have to change what we are doing. And so together with Panasonic and other companies for Alliance, we have to work together for better, better, better batteries and cars. My name is Kudo from the Nikkei. I have two questions. First, to both presidents, in 2030, 5.5 electrified vehicles, uh, that number was mentioned, which is a large volume. Uh, to supply those, you would need human resources or facilities and funds. Uh, for these, uh, how much are you expecting? And between the two companies, what kind of collaboration do you think will be necessary? That's my first question. And my second question goes to Mr. Toyoda. You mentioned Japan does not have any resources. But when batteries are more widely used, reuse or recycling system will be needed in the society as a whole. So by collaborating between the two companies, um, what kind of role do you think you can play towards that end for OEMs other than the group like uh, Nissan, Honda, uh, with these uh, companies, in which areas do you think you will need to collaborate with? <coughs> In 2030, 5.5 million as compared to the current 1.47 million. 
for a long time. Uh, they, uh, Toyota has been working on hybrids and plug-in hybrids. And still, the ultimate number is more than three times the current number. Uh, so I think uh, they are determined uh, to uh, take up that challenge. And uh, we will uh, not be threatened or scared by this uh, challenge. In terms of funds, human resources, and other aspects, um, we will uh, focus on the importance so that we can support the uh, thinking or passion of um, Toyota. Uh, that is something that um, makes me uh, think about anew standing on this uh, podium, podium. But when it comes to specifics, um, it is not something that I can mention now. But in terms of a feeling or passion, um, that is something that I am feeling stronger than before. For our resources and the global warming, we are hoping to make a contribution, and we need to meet the expectations of electrified vehicles. And we decided to uh, explore the possibility of a collaboration because of that. When it comes to electrified vehicles, uh, it goes without saying that batteries would be a key component. Everybody knows that. Uh, to uh, realize the uh, number one prismatic automotive battery. Uh, that is our aim, and we'll work together towards that aim. Uh, a richer and a more enjoyable mobility uh, society is something that we are aiming at through this potential collaboration. Uh, for 65 years, uh, that is even before I was born, the relationship, uh, business relationship with Panasonic has uh, continued. So we would like to uh, continue to learn from ourselves uh, so that the two uh, companies uh, we are hoping that will lead the trends toward electrified vehicles the two companies that were born and brought up, brought up in Japan a richer and enjoyable mobility society and um, leading the trends toward electrified vehicle. That will continue to be the pillar when the two companies discuss future possibilities. I'm afraid you have so many other questions that you would like to ask, but this is going to be the very last question. Shoji from Nikkei Business, question to both presidents about solid state. You said that you are going to work together for the development of solid state battery. Working with Panasonic, do you think that the development of solid state batteries uh, can be realized earlier than early 2020s? So would the solid state battery be the main target of uh, the development ultimately? Well, through the mass media, uh, there was already a report that Toyota would like to commercialize solid state batteries in their automobiles. And this is something that we heard in our discussion. But I don't mean to be presumptuous, but if you can shift all at once to solid state batteries, investments that you have made so far would be wasted. And it's not that easy for the society to shift totally to solid state batteries. So that is our understanding of the trend of the society and batteries. Having said so, Panasonic has been going ahead with the research of solid state batteries. And we know that Toyota is also studying solid state battery. And we know that there's going to be a limit of lithium ion batteries. So by the time the limitation is at maximum for the lithium ion batteries, we want to be fully prepared for the lithium ion to shift to solid state batteries. Would that be five years from now, 10 years from now? I don't know, but we need to be fully prepared. 
And to do so, rather than working alone, if we can collaborate, it would be more productive and effective. So going forward, both companies would study. Uh, we have used uh, the time we have today, so let us close today's um, press conference. Uh, after this will be the photo session, so for those who have uh, cameras, uh, please be prepared for the photo session. Uh, we will prepare for the photo session, so please wait a while. We will do away with the podium. There are many people, so we will start with the steel cameras, steel cameras, and then we will go to the video cameras. So uh, you don't need to hurry to come to the front. So this is the center. よろしくお願いします。すいません。今正面の方ですね。ちょっと正面の方の方の形中心にお願いします。So we'll start with the people now at the front. To the two presidents, please face the cameras on this side. So, if for these uh, still cameramen who are finished. The video cameras, please. Ruby san, Hi. 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 よろしいですか。じゃあ最後すいません。最後こちらですね。あのテレビ画面さん多くいらっしゃる方を抜いて。お願いいたします。よろしいでしょうか。すいません。たくさんお越しいただいて取り抜かったと思います。Now, uh, with this, we conclude the photo session. Thank you very much. あの、それでは終了させていただきます。本日はお忙しい中、どうもありがとうございました。どうもありがとうございました。お疲れ様でした。ありがとうございました。<笑>